Hey professionals, so in this video I'm going to be going through Blackmagic presentations, deal makers and deal breakers so you can clearly tell if this is the software that's right for you. Now when I first got presentations I just thought it was to allow clients and collaborators to give time code specific comments that show directly in your timeline. But there's also zoom like features and portal management features built inside which make it pretty comprehensive. And overall let's just start with the backbone, the number one function we need in the software, time specific comments. Now these usually aren't perfect systems. One big issue I experienced back in my Adobe days using Frame.io was that if I ripple deleted a section from the beginning, like let's say I cut out 15 seconds, all the comments afterwards wouldn't move and instead be 15 seconds ahead of the clip they're referring to. This means I had to work backwards from the comments, which for many editors is an annoying limitation and can break the way they usually like to cut videos. So there are a few questions I wanted to answer about the backbone of this system, which are, do the comments show up quickly in your timeline after someone leaves a comment? If I duplicate a timeline, will it carry those comments over as well? Can I unsync comments in a timeline if they're no longer needed? And the big one, do comments move when I ripple delete? And the answer to all of these is yes. By far Blackmagic has the most comprehensive and user-friendly comment system. It doesn't mean it's perfect. Okay, so I've got to make a real quick little adjustment to what I just said over there. So essentially I was saying that, hey, yeah, you can ripple delete and the comments will move with the timeline so that, you know, everything still lines up. That's not actually true for everyone. And we're not exactly sure what's going on. So the way we discovered this was as my editor was editing this video, she goes, hey, when I ripple delete, nothing's moving. And as we looked into it, it's like, sure enough, when she deletes a section, the comments go out of time. But when I delete a section, they stay in time. We're not 100% sure why that is the case. Right now, our assumption is that because she's not the project owner, she doesn't have the authority to move the comments. It could also be as something simple as there's a glitch in the system. So what we're going to do is we're gonna be investigating this further. And if we do get an update, we'll leave it in the comments below. Or another good little suggestion is, is like, if that's a really important feature for you or someone else, is probably give that a quick test to see how that goes. We are investigating and we'll let you know what we find. Back to the original video. But it's definitely the best one that I've experienced and the reason for this is that there's no third party software involved. These are two systems built together by the same company to work together. Although that's not all my favorite features. You can easily upload to presentations without managing exports or uploads. You just go to the export window, set a name, choose a folder, hit renter, and everything else happens in the background. You don't even have to send a review link to the client, which brings me to my second favorite feature, presentations folder. You just set this up once and can mostly forget about it. The way this works is you invite your reviewers such as your assistant editors and clients and every time you upload to this folder they'll automatically be able to see it. So instead of having to copy a new link for every project that you're working on, sending them to clients, making sure they're set up all right, you just send them this one link once in the first time you work with a client and it just works forever onwards. So whenever I have a new video ready to review, I just send a text message to the client, go, hey, check your portal, new video ready to review, and it's good to go. But there is a limitation on how many you can invite, which we'll get into later. Another feature which works really well is synced playback and video conferencing. It's basically like Zoom and review software had a baby. Got busy! You can video call with your clients in your presentation folder, and the host can even sync the playback of the video so that everyone is watching the same moment on the same video together. And so this is what it looks like to have a video call inside Blackmagic Presentations. It's a really good feature for those who need a more one-on-one -on -one collaborative conversation with clients, especially where there's any sort of creativity involved. And one of my favorite features is their subscription pricing plan. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, that's right. I said I like their subscription pricing. I know as Resolve users, we mostly hate them, but this subscription pricing is done in a fair way like no other industry really practices. You see, only the project owner gets charged money, which by the way, I only pay $30 a month and it comes with all these other features as well and they don't train your data on AI. What this means is that the assistant editor, your clients who are reviewers and anyone else doesn't have to pay any money to join in the review process. Only the owner of the project handles the costs, which is the way it really should be. 
On the positive side, this software really helps support ongoing working relationships with clients. And if you ever saw my video on subscription pricing versus project pricing, it's really one of the easiest ways to become financially well off in our industry is by having this healthy system that supports ongoing work and presentations is a fundamental backbone for me to be able to do it. Now, just like everything, there are limitations. So I'm going to cover the issues that could cause you to not want to purchase this software. So there is a hard limit of having 10 members in each presentation folder and in your overall plan, the one I'm on at least, I can only have up to 30 different guests at any one time. The 30 guests can increase based on how much you pay, but the folders are limited to 10 people. Ultimately, I can't think of many situations where you want more than 10 members reviewing one video. As the famous saying goes, too many cooks spoil the broth. I've been pushing this software very hard since it first came out and I've pretty much maxed out at five people most. But another deal breaker is giving bigger administrative privileges. For instance, if my assistant editor accidentally uploads a video to the wrong presentations group, they can't delete it. I have to, as the system owner, go in and delete it. This is really problematic as I work with a lot of property clients and all their business names start with property. So it's an understandably easy mistake for them to do. So another limitation is how many videos you can upload into one presentation folder. I discovered this by reaching their maximum limit, which is 100 videos by the way. I somehow bypassed their limitation and ended up uploading 108 videos, which caused the entire project folder to crash. What this ultimately resulted in was that I had 14 videos that already had comments on them that needed work and we couldn't see any of them. This was a little stressful, but in Blackmagic's defense, when I sent them an email with the issue, they understood the urgency of the request and they were very quick to respond, figure out what went wrong and help fix it with me. So maybe we need to add another little positive point and say that their customer support is pretty excellent. Now, the next issue I'm gonna cover is situational, but you can't speed up playback in presentations. When my clients have to do multiple reviews of 20 minute videos, a speed up option would be really beneficial for their time, but it's not there at the moment. The next thing I wanted to talk about is checkable notes. And this is probably my number one request that I wish was inside Blackmagic presentations. Right now, there isn't any way to visually check off a comment to signify it's done. It'd be great to have these comments show on the timeline with the traffic light system, such as yellow means it's not done, red equals issues preventing getting it done, and green equals done. Right now, the solution is to reply to the comment with done, which doesn't change anything visually on the timeline and can also look a little messy on the presentations as replies show as separate comments and not a reply. Another one that I really wish for, but maybe a deal breaker for some people, is there's no version stacking. If we review a video five times, meaning that we upload the video once, the client reviews it, we upload it a second time, so we did that five times, those five videos shows up as five different videos in the presentations folder, which can create a very messy looking structure. If you go to something like frame.io, you can actually upload a second version of a video on top of a video. And it basically shows it like, hey, this is version 02. We can ignore version 01, but we'll leave the comments there in case you need to come back to them. So ultimately, if you end up having to do a lot of versions of the same video and you're working on multiple different videos with a client, that folder can end up getting very messy very quickly. And I even had one incident from this which caused a client to review the wrong video. This was a little frustrating moment, but ultimately we did get it sorted. Now, moving on, I guess the next big question we need to ask is, is Blackmagic presentations worth it? And my answer is, if you've got enough videos coming through, and by enough, I mean more than two a month, 100% yes. This software is not only easy to set up, but makes collaborating with clients way faster, more seamless, and allows you to scale your business further. Their pricing is ridiculously competitive, and for DaVinci editors, works more seamlessly than any other review software I've experienced in the past. The only shame about this is there is not enough people talking about how incredible this solution is. But apart from that, if you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely enjoy this one over here where I talk about my remote collaboration setup so that you can send videos and receive videos as easy as possible. Until next time, happy editing.